All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Racha HaKodash, Laulam Yom. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and reward in these last days, and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to all the Akim and the four comes to the earth, persons, word and truth and sincerity, making the call and election sure. And I'll give a humble salutation to the hopeful elect, tuning in on the four corners of the earth, wherever habitation may be at, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? This is Brother Mashal. Come back at you with a uh, quick lesson through the spirit and power of your Yahweh Shem Yahshai. I want to say, Tawadi, Yahweh Shem Yahshai, forgive me the spirits of this lesson. And um, today I want to uh, tap into this uh, lesson I've been meditating on for for a little minute. Um, you know, uh, in God we trust, all right? Now, we now this is Esau's uh, vision of God, all right? You know, Esau, you know, says that in God we trust, you know, they swear in on the Bible when they, when they elect presidents. You know, they have in God we trust on, on their money, on books, you know, on flags, all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? But what is Esau's God? Okay? They put it, they put in God we trust on all this money, right? But in actuality, they, they don't do any, anything, they don't do anything that, that, that uh, the Most High says, man. All right? Because they're uh, they're clean contrary to to uh, to us, okay. So we're gonna get uh, this this lesson be taught in God we trust, and we're gonna see what God Esau worships. All right. Now let's go to um, Genesis thirty six. Okay. Genesis thirty six, and we're gonna jump to verse four. All right, it says, okay, let's start at verse one and then we're going to jump to verse four. It says, now these are the generations of Esau who is Edom. All right, so Esau is the progenitor of Edom, which are the Edomites, okay? And we jump down to uh, verse eight. It says, thus, thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir, Esau is Edom. All right, so we, we can't get, you know, Esau, you know, confused with just one man because Esau uh, is a progenitor of a, of a whole nation of people, all right? Just like uh, Jacob was. Jacob was the progenitor of the Israelites, all right? So we're going to go go, uh, go to verse 4, um, and it says, And I die, this is one of uh, Esau's uh, wives that he took, okay? It says, And I die, uh, bear Esau Eliphaz, okay? So Eliphaz is Esau's son. And uh, Bash Bashamoth bear uh, Ru uh, Ruel. All right, so let's take a look at this word Eliphaz because um, a lot of these names, especially as as the Israelites, but you have um, a lot of the names meant something. Okay, so this is Esau's son. Keep that in mind. Now this is uh, Eliphaz, right? Let's let's get the Hebrew. Strong's H four sixty four. Eliphaz, Eliphaz. All right, so Eliphaz means my God is fine gold. All right, see, this is this is Esau's uh, God. All right, this is why he puts all this stuff in God we trust on his money. All right, right here on the twenty dollar bill, you know, you got the the five cents, the one dollar bill, and all the money. It's all it's always in God we trust. But why? Because Esau made his 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 son. Um, gave his son the name Eliphaz, which is my God or my power is fine gold. Okay, so this is what Esau has been, um, you know, is his, his mindset. Okay, Esau Esau is 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 fascinated, I guess you could say, with power and gold. All right, and when you go to um, uh, Luke sixteen, right. and uh, the rich man, okay? It says in for, uh, verse 19, Luke 16 and 19, there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. So this rich man is a, a dark sand for Esau, all right? And the beggar, in verse 20, it says, and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at the gate, at his gate full of sores. And this, this beggar represents the, uh, the, the nation of Israel, okay? 
because Esau is the rich man, and we are the beggars. We are the ones that's that's in the dust. Okay, at 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 the lowest state, we are the we, we are the beggar. All right. So this this certain rich man, which is Esau, was clothed in uh, in purple. And what is purple? Purple means a uh, 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 it represents royalty, a color of royalty. Okay, and fine linen and fair shum sumptuously every day. See, so every day he was he was eating good. Okay, this is this is Esau. Why? Because Esau, God is money, and this is this is how he was able to, you know, um, move forward his his uh, his nation, as you could say, you know, because of the the, the money that he was able to save by not uh, paying laborers, and who were, and who were the laborers were the Israelites that were were brought over in captivity. Okay, you even had the, the Northern Kingdom, you know, in uh, in captivity. You know, uh, under the Spaniards, okay, which are uh, the Spanish Edomites. Just a different language, all right. So these, so these rich men, uh, Esau, was clothed in fine linen and, and fair sumptuously every day, all right. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, and the beggar is in, uh, and Lazarus rep uh, represents uh, the nation of Israel, all right, which was laid at his, at his gate full of sores, all right, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. All right, this this is what we this is what we doing right now, man. You know, we are, are eating from from Esau's table. You know the crumbs. You know, when you figure, okay, on a lower, I mean, on a lower level, you figure you had a job making, let's say, twenty dollars an hour. You know, and you got, uh, you know, uh, let's say a hundred employees there. You know, what I'm saying a hundred employees making twenty dollars an hour. You know, and then you get you get uh, your pay your benefits paid and, and all this other stuff. You know, and then and then the hierarchy gets paid more than you. You know what I'm saying? And and their bosses get paid more than them. You know, and then you got the owner of the company. You know what I'm saying? You imagine what he what he what's what's what uh what what's what he's making. All right. You're you're eating the crumbs. You think you get a twenty dollar job? You you you, you floss it in the hood like. And Esau is sitting at the top laughing at you, man, because you think you're doing something with twenty dollars an hour. And when when he makes when he makes uh probably twenty dollars every thirty seconds. You see, this is the mindset that that Jake is in. This is the mindset that has been uh um instilled in us, man. You know, to uh uh to 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 uh, to become. You know, instead of come uh, us, you know, in school. Learning how to be entrepreneurs, learning how to, uh, you know, build our own companies. We've been taught to be good servants to people that that, that already own companies. The rich man, right? The rich man that owns the companies, we're in servitude, and the we're we're the beggars that's making twenty dollars an hour, man. All right. So we're 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 desiring we're desiring to be fed with the with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. All right, because as soon as those crumbs stop. Now you can you can't pay your mortgage. Now you can't pay your rent. All right. Why and why is that? Because Esau, God is money, man. All right. Our God is not money. Our God is 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 Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, man. That's what our power is. But Esau uh, has made it to where his 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 blessing and and the, and the fatness of the earth. It all comes with that. It, it comes with money and it comes with power. All right. Um, and moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Okay, so these dogs are the other nations. Okay, when Job prophesied about uh, the uh, dogs having passed me in Job thirty, he was talking about uh, the 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 the, uh, the other nations. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Uh, Let's go to Psalms real quick. Uh, 37. So we so we can't be be drawn into Esau's philosophies, all right? Because his God is money, and all everything that he's he's done in the name of uh, God and Christianity, you know, because this this country was founded on Christianity. It's all been death and destruction and rape, rob, murder, pillage, and everything like that, man. All right? 
So this is this is his guy. His guy is the one that that uh that 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 uh, uh took over the Gadites. You know, for uh for money, for a new land. You know, to put people in captivity. All right. We don't want none of that, man. We want what uh that the scripture saying Proverbs thirty. You know, to feed me, uh, give give me neither poverty nor riches, man. You know, give me uh, food convenient for me. That's what we're asking you. How about you, Shai, man? We don't want to be on the on the level of uh, Esau, you know, because a lot of a lot of Jake, man, is is God is money. You know what I'm saying? You got Jake in the hood, ain't got I ain't got a pot to piss in. You know, his his his, his children is 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 uh is is struggling. You know what I'm saying? But then you got Jake flossing in the hood, pants half halfway down his behind. You know what I'm saying? Selling selling dope, right? And floss and flossing money, man. You know why? Because his God, his God, his God is is money. He's been he's been, he's uh, learned the ways of his oppressor, man. This is how this is how foolish Jake is. All right, when you put a, when you put a job over over your how about you, shot? That's making uh, money your God. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Psalms 37 and verse 16, it says, A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. See, the riches of many wicked. Esau is the, is the wicked, according to Malachi chapter 1. And numerous other uh, 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 scriptures, right? So a little that a righteous man hath. That's, what, that's why I said uh, in Proverbs uh, 30, you know, that feed me neither poverty nor riches, man. So we want a little, man. All we need is a little just to get the hell up out of here, man. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. All right? It says, verse 17, For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, upholdeth the righteous. See? So the arms of the wicked shall be broken, man. You're not going to be able to, uh, you know, survive with, uh, with, with, your, with your riches, man. And what are your arms? Your arms are, 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 are uh, a dark sand for your support system. All right? Because you use your arms to uh, to manipulate, to do things. So it says, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. Okay? So when you have little, all right, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Hashah, will uphold you, man. Because why? Righteousness is better than, than, than the riches of the world, man, the cares of this world. Doing the right thing, you know. What I'm saying, looking out for your, uh, you know, uh, for your nation. Uh, let's go to Psalms 49 and verse um, and verse six. Okay, let's get to the point. It says, they that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. You know, let's start at verse 5. Uh, Wherefore should I fear the days of evil, okay? When the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about. All right, so this is a dark, okay, let's start at verse 4, okay? It says, I will incline my ear to a parable, all right? This is a dark saying. I will open my dark saying upon the heart, all right? So this is a dark saying. It says, wherefore should I fear in the days of evil? What's that day of evil, man? The judgment, man. The scriptures talk about the uh, the evil day that that's that's coming. That's that uh, that's the how Bahashim Yahushai coming back, man, and 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 judging the uh, the nations, man, and the nation of Israel. All right. It says, "When iniquity of my hill shall compass me about." It says, "They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means by any means redeem his brother." Nor give to the heavenly Father and ransom for him. See, so their wealth, you know, and riches are not going to be able to get you. You're not going to be able to give that to you. How about you, Masha, for a ransom, man? Because you can't pay your how about you, Masha, off, man. You know, you people storing up money and all the, you know, all these athletes, man. They, 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 they still trying to get that money, man. You know, Esau still trying to get that money. You know, but in the, in the day of judgment, man, it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to pay your how about you, Masha, off. All right. 
it's, it's no way. Um, let's go. Let's go to the apocrypha. Um, it's Iraq twenty five. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 25 and verse 2. It says, Three cents, uh, it's like a three sorts of men my soul hateth, and I am greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud. So, you know, that's why, that's why I said Jake uh, boasting in the hood, man. But he, this is the, the, the guy's poor, man. He got a whole bunch of, you know, uh, paper money that don't mean a damn thing, but he's still living in the projects. You know what I'm saying? It's in his children. And, it's, and he, he got he got new J's, but it's, 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 he, can't, he can't take care of his children. All right, he got he got 26 inch rims, you know, on the old school, but it's it, but his child's hair is nappy as hell, man. All right, that's a poor man that is proud. All right, and this is this is the point: a rich man that is a liar. All right, and an old adulterer that doeth it. So uh, Esau is the rich man that is a liar. All right, because when you go to uh, Psalms 50, right? Psalms 50 and Uh, 20, it says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. It's talking about Esau. Thou slanderest, all right, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. All right, and this is Esau, right? Esau is, uh, is, uh, is, um, our twin, our, our twin, and our, and the mother, all right? From, from the, from our mother. Okay? For, from our mother, Rebecca. And it says that thou slanderest thine own mother's son. See, because Esau's own mother is, is Rebecca, just like Jacob is. So Esau has slandered our name. Let's see what that word uh, slander means. Strong's H, 1848. Dophi. Dophi. It says a blemish, a uh, fault. Um, okay, it says, uh, lexicon, which may very be drawn from the etymology of the Hebrew interpreters explain it by conjecture drawn from, from the other member. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else? You know, let, let's just get, let's get, let's get to the definition. All right, from uh, this is from uh, Invest Investopedia. Uh, it says also known as an oral or spoken defamation. Slander is a legal term for the act of harm harming a person's reputation, right, by telling one or more other people something that is untrue and damaging about that person. About that person, see. Let's see. Um, uh, uh, okay, that's the Urban Dictionary. Let's get something. I wonder why it's just not giving it to me. Why well, I got it going all, all up in it? Okay, slander from the uh, Merriam-Webster to utter uh, slander against the fame. All right, that's telling lies, man. All right, I think it's a uh, scripture. The accuser of our brother is cast down. Let's see if it comes up. Um, Yeah, brother, slap you. 
this Revelation 12 and 10, it says, And I heard a loud voice uh, saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. All right. For the accuser, you mean the uh, the slanderer, right, which is Esau Edom, of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. See, so that's that's what that's what Esau does, man. He puts pork and everything then and don't put it on the label. All right, and then he tell, he goes back to the to uh you know and and says yo see your people your people eating pork your people are doing this and that when Esau makes all this stuff available and 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 uh you know a luxury to be able to eat lobster and crab and uh you know shrimp and all this other stuff and you know everything that that Esau is doing man he's he's accusing us okay so this is why he is the uh. You know he's the rich man that is a liar okay so this is why he doesn't have uh basically anything going for him right let's go to job uh 31. job 31 and verse uh let's go to let's start to get the point verse 23 says uh for destruction or uh, from the heavenly father was a terror unto me and by a reason of his highness I could not endure if I had made gold my hope right and have said to the fine gold thou art my confidence if I had re if I rejoiced because my wealth was great and because mine had got my hand had gotten much because Job was the rich man we read Job chapter 1 it said that uh, you know Job uh, was was the rich man he had um, a lot of uh, wealth okay it says, um, verse 26, if I beheld the sun when it shine or the moon walking in brightness and my heart hath been secretly enticed or my mouth had kissed my hand, this is the point. It says, also, this also were an iniquity to be punished by the judge for it should, for I should have denied the power that is above. See, so when you make your, uh, goal, your hope and said, uh, to the fine goal, thou art my confidence, right? You have denied the power that is above, man. Now you're putting your trust in in uh, in in, uh, in 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 corruptible things, right? So this is what happens. You know, uh, there's a scripture. Let me let me see if I can find it. Um, it says uh, in the time of affliction, uh, there's a forgetfulness of. Let me see. Let's lock it one second. Yes, it's like it's uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes twenty uh, eleven. Press right eleven and uh twenty foot started verse twenty four says again say not I have enough and possess many things and what evil sh shall I have hereafter see so when you when you when you're rich when you make God your money you, this is the mindset that you'll have man you know what I'm saying it says uh again say not I have enough and possess many things and what evil shall I have hereafter, all right? It's because when you, because that's what Esau has done. 
He has built up his military. You know, he's saying he's built up his defense system. You know, and that he's now he's thinking that nothing's gonna be able to to, uh, to take him over. So like it. All right. It says in the day of prosperity, there's the forgetfulness of affliction. All right. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. All right. So this is why we don't we don't want to be poor and we don't want to be rich, man. We want just enough to get to get us the hell up out of here, man. All right. So Job 31, it, it says that that when you, when you uh when you rejoice because your wealth is great. And because my hand have gotten much, meaning you have a lot of substance, you're going to deny the Heavenly Father, man. That's why Yahweh Shah said that it's easier for a camel to get through, a, through a, uh, the eye of a needle than a rich man to get into the heaven. Why? Because you because there's a, there's a forgetfulness uh, in the day of prosperity, there's a forgetfulness of affliction. Now you forget who, who gave you all of that, man. Okay. Um. Yeah, kind. So let's go to uh First Timothy chapter six, right? Let's start up a little bit. Uh, First Timothy chapter six and verse. Uh, let's start at verse six. It says, "But godliness with contentment is great gain." See contentment not being not 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 asking for too much being okay with your situation why because you how i told us man the whole fast man be content don't be worried about the stuff that that you see you see esau doing all right because we're going to have something greater than than paper money man we're going to have a, we're going to have the, the 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 nations under our feet man All right. It says, uh, but you know what? Let me get some real quick. Um, we go to Romans eleven real quick. Romans eleven and thirty and thirty three. It says, "Oh, the depths of the riches." Right? This is the riches right here. Both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Heavenly Father. See, our wis our our riches is the wisdom and knowledge of the Heavenly Father, man. That's our riches. Okay. We have a we have a, a power, man, a guide, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Esau's God is, is money, man, power. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out? This is the riches, man, that we're looking for, man. We don't want Esau's riches, man. We don't want none of this, man. We don't, we don't, we don't need to be LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? We don't need to be uh, 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 Russell West Westbrook or Derek Jeter, man. Why? Because we have the riches that we need right now, man. All right, the wisdom and knowledge of the Heavenly Father. So this is why it says. But godliness with contentment is great gain. It's great gain, man. When you get, when you're doing godly things and you're and you're content with what you have, man. Yeah, how should I say? Hold hold fast that no man take thy crown, man. All right, verse seven. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry carry nothing out. So people sell their soul, you know, for money. Why? Because they see they see Esau doing, uh, you know, doing all of this, you know buying yachts and and stuff like that man but we about to get chariots man let esau have his yachts man it says for we brought nothing into this world and it's certain we can carry nothing out and having food and raiment let us be con there with content man we have food and raiment this is all we need brothers and sisters all right it says, but they that, that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. See? So when you're rich, man, when you have an abundance of things, man, you, you, you start going off. You know, Yahweh shot. You, you know what I'm saying? It's the, the scriptures say uh, that, that um, you know, he, 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 he uh, took himself on the form as a, as a man 
um, and 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 and, and, uh, and in poverty. All right, Yahweh Shah was in poverty, man. You know, this is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. But why? Because the rich fall into a snare, man. You see, Yahweh Shah had to make make come come to the to the level of his people, man. All right. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. You see, this is this is the love of money, man. All right, naming your son, my uh, my my God is fine gold. That's the love of money. Okay, and we don't want to we don't want to sell our sell our soul, man, for a paper dollar, man. Okay, it says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have what they have error from the faith. And, and pierce themselves through many sorrows. And Esau has no faith, man. Esau has no God. That's why he worships money. Okay, but us that we have a we have a power. You know, when you when you when you fall for the love of money, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures say in Ecclesiastes that money is uh is a defense. But what but the love of money is the root of all evil. Okay? And that makes you err from the faith. Chasing that dollar. You know what I'm saying? Getting that bag. You know what I'm saying? And putting off the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. You know, when you make a come up, now you don't know that now now you don't know uh now you don't praise Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Alright. So these are the things that um that that we need to know, man, that we need to not uh Choose the ways of our oppressors, all right? Uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and verse 10, it says, uh, He that loveth silver, see, he that loveth. The, the love of money is the root of all evil, okay? He that loveth silver should not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance will increase, with increase. This is also vanity, all right? See, it's a vain thing, man, to, uh, to, to uh, love uh, uh, the, the uh, money, all right? Loving uh, abundance and increase, man. Esau has more than he could he can need, while Jake is is struggling in the hood. All right. These are the things that we have to think about too, man. Uh, Zephaniah uh, chapter one. And verse 18, because I had mentioned uh, the, day of the, the day of wrath, all right? It says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them, deliver them in the day of Yahweh Bashim Hashad's wrath. All right, see? So, you know, saying you ain't going to be able to pull out a, a wire of money, man, and, and stop that nuclear missile, missile from hitting you, man. All right? It says, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall even make even a speedy riddance of them that dwell in the land. All right, this is that that speedy riddance, man. Is is uh, you know, you taking up out of here, man. But that, that by that 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 hot heat, I'm gonna call it. You know what I'm saying? Them nuclear missiles, that destroying wind that 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 Jeremiah prophesied about. You know that lake of fire that's in the Revelation. Okay, and let's go to uh, you know what Proverbs uh 11. And verse four, it says, uh, "Riches profit, riches profit not in the day of wrath." See, that's the same thing as F and I said. It says, "But righteousness delivereth from death." See, we we don't want riches, man. This is why Esau is going is going is is going to get wiped off the face of the earth, man. All right, we don't want none of this. We want this righteousness, man, because righteousness will deliver from death. All right. So riches uh, do not profit in the day of wrath. You know, you're going to have all these underground bunkers, you know, even, I mean, hell, you know, all these sports guys that are making, you know, millions of dollars, they may have, they may have bunkers. You know what I'm saying? But hey, the, the judgment is not going to be able to, uh, it's not going to escape. No, you know, uh, people that's been selling, that's been, that's sold, they still, that's been selling out, man. Okay. Uh, and let's go to uh, 
Ecclesiasticus uh, 13. And we're going to uh, wrap it up because I got to get up out of here. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 13. And I, I advise, the, you know, read this whole chapter, man. This whole chapter is, is pretty, is uh, fire, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we're going to jump around a little bit and uh, we'll wrap this up. Um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 13, and we're going to go to verse 4. It says, um, if he, if thou be for his profit, meaning a rich man, he will use thee. All right. So a rich man is, is going to, if, if, if you benefit him, he'll use you, you know what I'm saying? But it says, but if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. All right. So once he uses you up, I mean, he's going to toss you to the side, man. You know, just like Jake, you know, these coons out here that, you know, even back in the day, man, you know, coons, you know, helping Esau out, finding, you know, runaways and things like that, you know, but as soon as, as soon as something happens to that coon, it's, it's a rat for him. You know what I mean? Uh, verse five, it says, if thou have anything, he will live with thee. Yea, he will make thee bare and will not be sorry for it. See, so if you have something, man, yeah, he's going to dwell with you. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but soon he will make you, he will, you know, uh, strip you from all your resources, man, slowly bleed you out of your resources. And then he won't be sorry for it when you won't, when you don't have, uh, any substance to, to carry you on, man, because you've been, because you've been helping Esau, right? Just like, just like right now, you know, you get a, you get a job, you working hard, you know what I'm saying? You, you've been working there for 10 years. Now all of a sudden, you know, uh, business, business is down. You know what I'm saying? So what does the owner do? He says, "Hey, man, well, we got to make we got to make budget cuts." And who was the first person that he's gonna cut? It's you, Jake. You know, you making you 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 provide and and, and your, your family's getting bought for twelve dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? But instead of instead of him cut taking a pay cut, you know, he wants to make a you know a hundred thousand a month. You know what I'm saying? But instead of him saying, "All right, well, I'm I'm only gonna make fifty thousand a month." And I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep my employees. What does he do? He man, he fires you, man. So that way he can keep living. See, so if 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 uh, if if he have anything, he will uh, live with thee, right? And he will make thee bear and not be sorry for it. All right. So he won't. I mean, he he lays you off and he won't even be sorry for it, man. What does it say? Hey, it's business. All right. If he have need of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee. And put thee in hope, and he will speak thee fair, and say, What one is thou? And he will shame thee by his meats, until he have drawn uh, thee dry twice or thrice, and at the last he will laugh thee to scorn afterward. Who, when he seeth thee, he will forsake thee, that's uh, like he will forsake thee, and shake his head at thee. It's like he ain't even gonna know you, man. All right, it's like he ain't even gonna know you. And that's what that's, that's what's gonna happen, and in, in, in these in these trying times, man. You know, Jake all, uh, you know, uh, cooned up with Esau, you know. But in, in actuality, it's gonna be a, 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 a Esau just waiting, man. You know, Esau's waiting for 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 to to cast Jake off, man. It ain't gonna be no more. Uh, you know, you you kicking in with your Edomite boss, and y'all talking about uh, you know, sports and stuff like that. You know, your boss has a job because he's over you. You know, now now if it, if it was up to him to take a pay cut to keep you employed, he ain't gonna do that. All right, let's jump down to verse eighteen. It says, "What agreement is there with the hyena and a dog, and what?" What peace between the rich and the poor? Okay, because the rich and the poor are are two uh, opposite ends of the spectrum. All right, as the wild ass is the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. As the proud hate humility, so doeth the rich abhor the poor. All right, see, the rich don't like the poor. This this is the the breadcrumbs that 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 Lazarus was eating from the rich man. Okay, uh, verse 21, a rich man beginning to fall is held up by his friends, but a poor man being down is thrust away by his friends. Now, the rich man beginning to fall is upheld by his friends. Now, why? Because when you have rich friends in high places, man, y'all, they, they look out for each other. But what happens when a poor man falls? 
hey man, everybody, no nobody want to help this brother. You know what I'm saying? This is why the 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 the, uh, the law, statutes, the commandment are uh, are so so vital to look out for a brother when he's down. You know what I'm saying? You know now Jake is in the hood flexing. You know what I'm saying? But his but but you know but look at his nation though, man. Because he has the mindset of Esau. Esau does that. Esau flexes on us and looks at us like we ain't nothing. All right? It says, when a rich man is fallen, he hath many helpers. See? He's, he's been held up by his friends. Okay? He speaketh things not to be spoken and get men justify him. See? So this is this is Esau, you know, well, you know, two two men can be uh, can marry. All right, and what is and, and and two women come here, and what does Eve and what does Jake and Eve do? Yeah, we can do that. That's 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 freedom. You see, he speak rich men speak of things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. All right, it says the poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too. He spake wisely and can have no place. See, and we are the poor men that slip and speak wisely, man, and we have no place. That's why it says by the by the foolishness of preaching. Okay. That's why it says we look like fools for you. How would I say? Because we don't have no place, man. This is not our place. This is not our rest. Okay? It says, when a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue and look at what he saith and extol it to the clouds. You see? So when Esau says, um, you know, says some stuff, we'll take, we'll take this jab. You know what I'm saying? Take this uh, Maxine. They they now now here you go hit now here you go Jake. Ah, I don't care what's in the in the in the in the Maxine. I'll take it. Just give it to me. You see, this is the, this is the stupidity of our people, man. Alright. It says, but if the poor man speak, they say, What fellow is this? See? Now we're now we're on the on the on the uh highways and hedges saying, you know, uh well the the uh you know, we're speaking through through the, through wisdom, man. Through the spirit, all right. You being a mouthpiece for your how about you, shy? And what do they say? And we're the poor man, all right. And it says, "What fellow is this, man? Who the hell is this?" You know what I'm saying? What is this this dude on the, on, on the corner? You know, in some Jesus capes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> saying, "Well, what, what what is he doing? He has been, never been in a, uh, a theologian school, all right." That's this is what people think of us, man. Especially our own people. It says, and if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. All right. So this is why we 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 can't stumble. All right. We can't stumble. That's why we, we we're grounded in Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. Okay. Because our Jake will try to overthrow you, man. All right. And uh, it says, riches are good unto him that have no sin, and poverty is evil in the mouth of the ungodly. So riches are good unto him that have no sin. And Esau is the uh, is the prototype for sin, prototype for abominations, prototype for iniquity, prototype for transgressions. Okay. So let so let so let Esau celebrate his God. Okay. Let let uh let let his firstborn let Esau's firstborn son uh, Eliphaz teach you a lesson, man. That you name your son after that that translates to my my God, my power is fine gold. Alright, and with that, most high willing this lesson was edifying, and we give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I want to say Kwame Asharala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.